reproduction in animals. All living organisms live for a certain period of time. Some live longer than others. But at the end, all the living organisms die. In order for any species to continue, it must produce young ones of its own kind. Reproduction is one of the fundamental attributes of a living organism through which it is able to produce more of its own kind. Through this process, new individuals are produced who grow and reproduce again. Reproduction helps in the continuity of life, increasing the population of any species, the evolution of the most favorable variation over a period of time. Reproduction in living organisms takes place by two general methods, asexual and sexual. Asexual reproduction. The method of reproduction in which a single organism is able to reproduce one or more of its own kind by itself is called asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction does not require gametes or sex cells male and female. Only a single parent is involved in this type of reproduction. Amoeba, yeast, hydra, etc. reproduce by the method of asexual reproduction. Some of the methods of asexual reproduction include binary fission. This type of reproduction is seen in unicellular organisms such as amoeba and paramecium. In binary fission, the parent cell divides into two halves to produce two daughter cells. When the parent cell divides into two equal parts, the cytoplasm and the nucleus also divides equally. Each daughter cell has a nucleus and cytoplasm. The daughter cells produced are identical to the parent cell. The daughter cells grow and attain full size. The cells again reproduce by dividing into two equal halves. Budding. Budding is a type of asexual reproduction in which an individual develops in the form of buds. For example, yeast and hydra. The nucleus of the parent hydra divides into two nuclei. One of the nuclei is pushed into bud like projection. After some time, the bud detaches itself from the parent's body and grows into a full-size individual. Sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is a type of reproduction in which two sexes, namely male and female, are involved. The male sexual unit in an organism is known as male gamete or sperm while the female sexual unit is termed as female gamete or ovum egg. Male gametes are generally smaller in size and more active than female gametes. Organisms which bear only one reproductive organ either male or female in their body or produce only one type of gamete are called unisexual. Cockroaches, frogs, fish, birds, reptiles and humans are unisexual. In some species, both type of gametes exist in the same individual. These organisms are called hermaphrodites or bisexual. Example, earthworms and leeches. In these organisms, the two individuals take part in sexual reproduction are similar in shape and size. In malarial parasites, the two individuals are dissimilar. Fertilization. When the sperm from male and ovum from female fuse together, 
a new cell is formed called zygote. The process of fusion of the sperm and ovum egg is termed as fertilization. Fertilization occurs in two different ways, external fertilization and internal fertilization. External fertilization takes place outside the body of male and female individuals. They liberate their gametes, eggs and sperm in water. The sperms swim towards the eggs to fuse and form zygotes. For example, fertilization in fish and frog. Internal fertilization takes place inside the female body. The male discharges gametes inside the female's body. After fertilization, zygote is formed inside the female body. For example, in humans, cattle, cats, dogs, insects and birds. The female either lay eggs or gives birth to a baby. Sometimes due to certain medical conditions, some women are unable to bear babies. In such cases, doctors fertilize the egg outside the body of the mother. This is called in vitro fertilization. After a few weeks, the zygote is placed inside the mother's uterus. The baby develops and is born like a normal baby. Babies born through this technique are called test tube babies. In 1978, the first test tube baby, Lewis Brown, was born in Great Britain. Life cycle The individuals which are born or hatched from the eggs continue to grow till they become adult. All animals look after the young ones till they are able to look after themselves and reproduce their own kind for continuity of life. This process of growth and development in a cyclic manner is called the life cycle of an organism. Metamorphosis The series of changes taking place during the life cycle of an organism is called metamorphosis. It starts from a young one which undergoes various stages of development before becoming an adult. For example, in butterfly, the change of an egg into an adult butterfly is shown in the figure given below. Reproductive system in humans. After attaining sexual maturity in males at the age of 14 to 15 years and in females at the age of 11 to 12 years, the reproductive organs become functional. At the time of sexual maturity, some visible changes occur in the body of male and female. This stage is called puberty stage and these changes are called secondary sexual characters. Estrogen in female and testosterone in males are hormones which influence and develop the reproductive system in humans. The changes observed in A. Boys Growth of hair on body and face Deepening of voice Production of sperms by testes B. Curls Widening of hips Development of breasts the growth of pubic and underarm hair and high-pitched voice. After development of these reproductive systems, a girl is able to become a mother and a boy is able to become a father. Organs of the male reproductive system A pair of testes A testis is placed in the scrotal sac which is a bag-like structure hanging externally from the lower abdominal cavity of the body. Testes produce male gametes or sperms in millions, which are mobile. Each sperm is a cell containing a nucleus, cytoplasm and mitochondria. It has a head, middle piece and a long tail. Vast deference. It is a tube through which sperms leave the testes and reach the penis. It is also called sperm duct. Penis. It is used for sperm's injection 
inside the body of the female. Organs of the female reproductive system. A pair of ovaries. The ovaries are situated in the abdominal cavity which produce eggs, ova, every month. An egg or ovum is also a single cell containing a nucleus and cytoplasm. Oviducts, fallopian tubes, the tubes that join the uterus and ovary are called oviducts. Eggs travel by ciliary action through these tubes. Uterus, womb, a uterus is a muscular organ located in the pelvis between the bladder and rectum. The development of fertilized eggs into fetus is done here. Vagina The uterus is connected to the outside of the body through a muscular tube called vagina. Fertilization Fertilization in humans is an internal process. When sperms are released into the female's body, one sperm fuses with the egg in the fallopian tube resulting in the formation of a zygote. This process of the fusion of the sperm and the egg to form a zygote is called fertilization. Development of embryo. The zygote is the first cell of a human body after fertilization. The zygote keeps dividing many times by the process of cell division. The zygote soon forms a ball of cells while it moves from the oviduct to the uterus. The zygote develops into an embryo by splitting into two cells by the method of cell division. Then two parts becomes four and four cells again divide to form eight cell embryo. On further development, different groups of cells are formed having various shapes and sizes. After eight weeks, the embryo develops different types of cells. This embryo gets fixed to the wall of the uterus. Later it forms several types of tissues and organs to perform specific functions. Gradually the development of body parts takes place in the uterus of the female. The baby inside the mother's womb is called fetus. The fetus remains in the womb till it becomes a full grown baby. In case fertilization does not take place, the ovum is expelled out from the body. The method of passing out of uterine muscles, blood and unfertilized ovum is called menstruation. The animals which produce young ones are called viviparous. Mammals give birth to young ones including animals like goats, tigers, dogs and humans. In fish, frogs, reptiles, birds, the embryo develops inside the eggs using yolk as food. These animals do not give birth to young ones. Hence, these animals lay eggs and are called oviparous. Signs in the vicinity Some animals like the starfish can regenerate their lost body parts. If a starfish loses an arm, it can grow back a new one. The male seahorse is unique among animals as it is the male that carries and gives birth to the babies. Some animals like the clownfish have the ability to change their gender. When the dominant female dies in a group, the largest male will undergo a gender transformation and becomes the new female. Some reptiles like certain species of lizards and snakes can reproduce through parthenogenesis. This means that they can produce offspring without the need of fertilization by the male. The offsprings are genetically identical to the mother.